Hey guys, Cthulhu here. Today I'm going to go over how to disassemble a SEMA RPK. This is basically a tutorial for all SEMA AKs since they use a majority of the same parts. Uh, I'll make sure to list my tools in the description below. So let's get started. First, we need to remove the cover plate, guide, and spring. This is the easiest step. Typically, for AKs without a solid stock, this is how you would access your battery. Next, we remove the top handguard. You have to make sure you correctly orientate the release lever so the top rip can slide off. The gas tube will come off as well during this step. Next, we remove the cleaning rod. This is press fit in between two nubs on the front sight block. I suggest using a flathead screwdriver. Next we remove the lower handguard. There is another release lever you need to turn before sliding the grip forward. There will also be an end plate that comes off during this step. Next slide the rear sight block off the receiver. There is a large pin that holds this in place. I suggest using a punch and a hammer. Next we need to remove the hop up screws. These screws hold the hop unit against the outer barrel. Next, remove the front trunnion and barrel assembly. This is held in place with a large pin and an allen screw. Again, I suggest using a punch and hammer for the pin. Allen screw requires allen keys. Once these are removed, the barrel assembly will slide off. Next, we remove the hop up and barrel. This is the point where if you needed to do a barrel bucking or hop switch, you are in luck. You can stop here. For the rest of us, let's continue. Next we remove the stock. This is held in by two screws on the top and bottom. Now this next part varies replica to replica. If you have a connector inside the stock, that is so you can disconnect the wiring harness and make life easier. Some have continuous wires, so just be aware. Next we remove the grip. Simple screw on the bottom and slide it off. Next we remove the fire selector. Now this heavily varies replica to replica. Some are a cap and screw. Sometimes the cap is a screw. You should do some research ahead of time before attempting this or risk damaging your fire selector. With this replica, we can pop off the cap with a flathead screwdriver and remove the screw inside. Then the fire selector comes apart. There will be the lever, the locking post, and the outer bushing. Next we remove the gearbox from the receiver. At this point it should just slide out of the receiver. Be mindful of your wiring if you have a rear wired replica. And that's it. Now you can start working on your gearbox. I hope this video was helpful and can resolve issues for up and coming techs. Let me know if you have any questions on how this is done or any airsoft tech questions and period. Always glad to help. Alright guys, see you in the next one.